Hello everyone, now let us discuss about CPT mock questions from anatomy. Coming to the first question, which of the following represents the correct pathway for electrical activity in the heart? Which of the following represents the correct pathway for electrical activity in the heart? The option is B. First sinoatrial node, next AV node, next bundle branches, next Purkunji fibers. If you see, this is the order. It is numbered. First, the electrical activity begins at sinoatrial node. Then it passes to atrioventricular node. Then to at atrioventricular bundle or bundle of his. Then to bundle branches. These are the right and left bundle branches. And finally to Purkunji fibers. This is the correct pathway for electrical activity in the heart. SA node, AV node, bundle branches and Purkunji fibers. Next question. What part of the eye is the white outermost layer of the eyeball composed of tough connective tissue? The option is D. Sclera. Sclera as the name indicates. Scle means heart. The white of the eye is the layer of dense connective tissue made up of mostly collagen fibers and fibroblast. The sclera covers the entire eyeball except the cornea and it gives shape to the eyeball making it more rigid, protects its inner parts and serves as a site of attachment for extrinsic eye muscles. Coming to next question, what term could describe an inflammation of plantar? Causing foot or heel pain when walking or running. Itis means inflammation. So, inflammation of a band of tissue that connects the heel bone to the toes. The band of tissue that connects the heel bone to the toes is nothing but plantar fascia. This is the plantar fascia. The red color is the inflammation. Inflamed tissue of plantar fascia. So, the inflammation of plantar fascia is plantar fasciitis. Coming to next question, blepharoplasty. Blepharo means eyelid. Oplasty is surgical repair. Blepharoplasty describes what type of procedure? It is a surgical reduction of upper or lower eyelids to remove excess fat, skin and muscle. So, option A is the correct option. Coming to next question, which autoimmune disorder will eventually destroy the thyroid gland? The answer is Hashinimoto thyroiditis. Hashinimoto thyroiditis also known as chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis or Hashinimoto's disease is an autoimmune disease in which the thyroid gland is gradually destroyed. The next question is, which term describes a muscle shortening its length in a resting state and then remaining in its position? The option is contracture. Contracture is nothing but shortening of muscle. Next question, which of the following statements best describes rheumatologist? A specialist who provides a diagnosis and treatment of disease characterized by Inflammation of connective tissue is known as rheumatologist. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.